In this question, a scientist reacts 606 grams of strontium oxide, SRO, with unlimited cobalt, CO. The scientist expects that 323 grams of cobalt-3 oxide, CO2O3, will be made, but measures a yield of only 236 grams. We're also provided with the balanced chemical equation for this reaction. Okay, so our goal in this question is to figure out the percent yield of our product. To do that, we're gonna to need to know the actual yield and the theoretical yield of our product. Okay, so the actual yield. That is the mass of our product that's actually produced. So in this question, we're told the scientist measures a yield of only 236 grams. So that's my actual yield, 236 grams. That's how much I actually get. Now, there's a theoretical yield. That's the amount that we expect to get based on how much we put in. So based on how much strontium oxide the scientist reacted, according to the equation for that reaction, you should end up with 323 grams of cobalt-3 oxide. So that's our theoretical yield. Theoretical yield is the mass of product that you expect based on the balanced chemical equation. So based on that, the scientists predicted that they would get 323 grams. So that's our theoretical yield. Finally, we need to calculate the percent yield of cobalt-3 oxide. So to do that, we're gonna need our percent yield equation from the reference sheet. Here's the equation for percent yield. Percent yield is the actual yield divided by the theoretical yield times 100. So let's write that down. Percent yield is equal to the actual yield, the yield actual, divided by the theoretical yield, the yield theoretical, multiplied by 100%. So for this question, our actual yield was 236 grams. Our theoretical yield was 323 grams, and we're gonna times that by 100%. So when I put that in my calculator, I get an answer of 73.0%. So that's my percent yield of cobalt-3 oxide. It's 73.0%. So these questions are fairly straightforward. All we need to do is firstly identify the actual yield. That's the amount that's measured in our experiment. We then need to identify the theoretical yield. That's the amount we expected to make based on the balanced chemical equation. So that's what the scientist expects to make in the question. Finally, we calculate the percent yield using the percent yield equation from the reference sheet.